What's going on everybody? This is Jay Ghost and I was going to be doing a video um, in regards to sexuality, but this kind of caught my eye. Um, Wesley Rusher is basically talking about Nintendo and how they don't want the story of Earthbound published. Now, basically what is going on here is Earthbound is not having its story told. If anybody's been paying attention to Earthbound, before I go into the story, basically Earthbound is the rag-headed stepchild of Nintendo, and they keep abusing that thing left and right, and I cannot, for the life of me, figure it out. Number one, we don't get Mother 3. Number two, Earthbound, you know, which is Mother 2, doesn't even come over into the United States. Ooh, fan recreates Earthbound with HD visuals. Not bad. But in number three, I mean, every time that the Mother series and the Mother franchise, Starman.net, who are very dedicated followers of the Earthbound series, has been trying to get Nintendo's attention about, hey, we are fans, we love it, we want more of the Earthbound series ex with, I mean, outside of Star um, Super Smash Brothers. Earthbound has been getting run ragged. Now, to be fair, Mother 3 has copyright issues. The music, pretty much, if you want to get into the music, most of that sounds like allusions to, like, Beatles music and other things. So, it was iffy to bring that over. In terms of Earthbound, you had, that game was expensive, expensively made. It was about $100. I bought that $100. And I played that game from beginning to end on the Super Nintendo. And I loved every minute of it. Just the quirkiness of it. I mean, all of the illusions. I mean, um, all the references. Everything that happened in that game, I could probably cite a lot of it to you. I haven't played it in a while. But on top of this... The fact of the matter is, even with that game being so old, there's a lot more that I could study from and learn more about the references and illusions that other people have picked up. So, for me, as a fan of the Earthbound franchise, when I hear that Marcus Lindblom is trying to pre create a book that basically set, has the game's development out, Nintendo telling me that they don't want that story shared kind of pisses me off. Now, just recently, I've wanted to talk about Nintendo and all of the missteps that they're doing. And this is a huge misstep because they're trying to tell me that basically they don't want money. You're telling me that Marcus Lindblom, you have a licensing contract with him where, oh, hey, he's going to sit here create a book that sits here and tells about the development cycle of one of my favorite games possibly how to program it even though a lot of people are doing this stuff you're telling me you want to stop that crap why because of an nda on a 20 year old game what the hell is this for if the guy wants to make a book that was what the first amendment is supposed to be but he stopped by the NDA, the, whatever it is. I don't know the synonyms. I'm so mad right now. So, to me, as a fan, why the hell should I invest in anything that Nintendo does? I haven't invested in a Wii U. I haven't invested in a Wii. I have a Game Boy Advance at this current time. That's all I have. I don't invest in the 3DS. Because, to me, the price is too high, but these have some great games like Radiant Historia that I would love to find one of these days. And right now, on my Game Boy Advance, I'm playing Mario Tennis and enjoying the hell out of it. Yes, I play tennis. Big freaking deal. But, to sit here and tell me that you can't put the Earthbound series onto a book, I bought the Hyrule Historia. But to tell me that the Earthbound book, you don't have any room for the Earthbound book. Now, 
I want to show you all how devoted I am as a fan. I'm going to show the clan of the White Wolf who are who um, look into RPGs themselves. And pretty much I agree with what these people have to say in terms of looking into the history and doing this history. And you all come to the conclusion about the Earthbound series yourself. But for me, I'm just absolutely amazed and flabbergasted that Nintendo cannot figure out their own shit. Iwata is, has basically been stating how he has misinterpreted the market. This would be a great time for them to sit here and, you know, give us a break. The Earthbound series especially. We only got Mother 2. You didn't want to bring over Mother 3. Mother 1 got stopped in production when it was almost finished. And we have to sit here and pirate the shit to play it. And even then, the game is outdated because of the random factors of it. Or the random enemy factors that a lot of people don't really like or enjoy. But that's another story. That's another thing for another time. Seriously. This Earthbound series franchise really needs to get out of the hands of nintendo if they're not going to do anything but sit here and quash the book now i'll go ahead i'm going to link to the polygon um article because it looks like they also did it uh let me change that a little bit so you all can see it and for the most part i'm just pretty pissed off and that's what I've been pissed off for the, about for the last few days. And I've been raging. And finally, <sighs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just angry at it. I'm disappointed. Lindblom is, Lindblom, Marcus Lindblom is disappointed. You all can read this for yourself. But God damn, I seriously wanted to have, you know, to hear good news about the Earthbound series. Because... Reggie Phil Zane, 2008, we still remember. I'm still pissed at Reggie about that crap. And then, four, five, six years later, one of my favorite series, one of the few series that I actually enjoy, and yes, I have more bad news than good news to sit here and say. Maybe one, at this point, the only thing that I really want, I want that Mother 4 game, the fan-made game, to really come through and I'm just kind of done with Nintendo I haven't bought games from them for quite a long time because they haven't figured out what in the hell they're doing and then to hear Lindblom sell it I mean the localization I'm disappointed in Nintendo I don't have a really I don't have a financial interest in them at this point in time I play my used games I'm good with that if they can't figure out that how to make me me a subscriber to the things that they're selling i'm not going to help them anymore you sat here you destroyed let's plays say to make a little bit of money while pissing people off you can't get into the um can't get into the the mindset of your your um fans your i mean and you don't want to change anything, but you think that you own the goddamn world. I mean, in terms of, let's see here. In terms of like, <sighs> I'm so pissed off right now. In terms of, say, Zelda not giving a female option, that's one little thing. Just to appease the social justice warriors one good time. Oh, man, how many series? The F-Zero series, you don't have anything. You had a year lead in terms of the Wii U, and you still botched it and blew it. You didn't have any games for people to play. I mean, what are you guys doing? That's all I'm asking. I'm pissed off about Earthbound. This is my favorite series of all other series right now, and I have to deal with crap like this. So, I'll link to the Polygon article. I'll link to the Destructoid article for you guys to sit here and look at. Thank you for hearing my rant and my bitching and moaning for at least a few good minutes. 
And I will see you all next time, hopefully with something a little bit more edited and something a little bit more polished. So take care, guys.